Hello everyone and welcome to Computer Tech TV. It's me, Rick Arder here once again, and I decided to start messing around with the timings on my Kingston HyperX DDR3 1600 memory. And by default, it runs at 99927 at 1.65 volts. And uh, all the tests that I did, I did not exceed the 1.65 volt rating. I might, however, to see if I can get better results. However, usually when it comes to memory, um, not so much in my experiences because I really try not to push the voltage all that high. I kind of just see how high I can get the, the speed and or how tight I can get the timings. And I usually, especially like this, most DDR3 will run at 1.5 volts. This is at 1.65, so it's already pretty high to start. You can go a little bit higher but I choose to stay in the limits when it comes to stuff like memory. CPUs, that's a little bit different. Basically, what I'm gonna do here is I just wanted to show you guys uh, you know, that I was running the Kingston HyperX. And I didn't have very good results with trying to get really tight timings on this because I'm running a Phenom 2 X2555. So basically an AM3 on an AM3 Plus board. 990FX chipset and from what I've read and I'm not sure how correct this is but I read that the Phenom 2 CPUs don't really like memory much higher than 1600 megahertz so my goal was to see how tight of timings I could get at 1.65 volts and 1600 megahertz so let me show you guys the results they're not great but they're better than you know what they are by fact all right, well, here are my best results so far. Like I said, I didn't spend too much time doing this, but I did go through and change quite a few values as far as timings go. And here are my best results, which I guess considering, I mean, these are HyperX modules, so I thought they were more high-end, but, you know, I got them on sale. I didn't pay too much, so I'm pretty satisfied. But 1600 megahertz, 1.65 volts, and we got 888.24 with a bank cycle time of 33 and this is at a command rate of 2T and I've been running Prime 95 now for it's quite a few hours now we're using 3.52 gigabytes of memory on a custom blend so let's go ahead and stop this and we'll see exactly how long this has been running so yeah, four, four and a half hours, four hours and 33 minutes. And that's just all stock everywhere else. And so we got it down from 999.27 with a TRC of 36, 1.65 volts, to 888.24. So now what I'm going to do is we'll go into the BIOS and I will show you what my settings are. If anybody has a similar setup that might be able to help them out a little bit. Um, I was hoping to get cast latency of 7, but it just didn't work. I tried everything. I tried 7, 8, 8, 24. I tried 7, 8, 7, 24. And I even tried 7, 7, 7, 24. That's what I first tried. They all failed within, I think, three or four passes of mem test. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I ran ten passes of mem test on this. I also ran two hours of OCCT uh, medium data set as well. So this is kind of my finishing up thing here. So this is fully stable for sure. Um, I haven't had any problems. I guess I could run another stability test if really someone felt it was necessary, but I honestly think this is pretty stable. It's nothing too crazy. It seems uh, once you drop any of the other values down, and the the TRAS, the cycle time, from what I've read, and I haven't really tested this, but it doesn't affect performance so much. But if you get it too low, it'll affect uh, stability quite a bit. So, all right, let's move on to BIOS. I'm not going to talk any longer about this. You guys see the results here, uh, and I'll show you guys what I got. All right, I am now in the BIOS of the Gigabyte 990FXA UD5 motherboard. You can see here on my settings uh, the memory clock is set to 8 times, running at 1600 megahertz in unganged mode. 
running at a command rate of 2T, run at 88824. See the SPD is at 99924. However, the rated timings are 99927. You can see auto is 1111, 11, 29. That's terrible. So our TWTR command rate, which actually I didn't lower that. That's the one setting I didn't lower on this main menu here. Uh, everything else you can see here 10, 5, 33, 4T. And the row cycle time is what is lowered quite a bit because that was set to 40. So that went down to 33. I'm not sure exactly how much that has. I haven't actually tested this, but I might make another video where I test different timings, different speeds. I'm kind of interested in that lately. So there you guys go. That's my settings. There is a whole bunch more settings here at the bottom. And me being new to not only this motherboard and everything else, but yeah, I have no idea what any of these settings are for. So once I learn more, then I will probably make another video and show you guys if I can get more out of this but I got a, a few things coming to me so you guys be sure to watch for that and uh, I'll be sure to make a video as soon as uh, stuff arrives and uh, do some testing so you guys take it easy thanks a lot for watching and more videos to come